Hello everyone and in this video we are going to see advantages and limitations of working stress method. So let's see what are the advantages of limitations of working stress method. See when I am saying advantages and I am not saying disadvantages okay. They are not disadvantages, this method that is WSM, in short it is say known as WSM, its full form is working stress method. So disadvantages will not be a proper word, okay. You have to say limitations, this method has some limitations, that's why it is not commonly used nowadays or it is not used or preferred for the structures which we designed today limited method we use okay so we have to see why we don't refer it or why we avoid this method so wsm that is first i will tell you what is wsm then we will start with advantages and limitations okay so working stress method that is wsm is based on elastic theory this word is important huh? you have to remember this this method is based on which theory elastic theory in which materials that is concrete and steel are assumed to be stressed below their elastic limit under the design loads. Now, what does that mean? Have you seen this type of diagrams in the subjects which we have studied previously? Like this, you may have seen this type of diagrams. What is that? This is nothing but your stress strain curve, and you may have heard about this point limit of proportionality yield limit whatever you know whatever you say it okay what does that mean elastic theory means whether it is concrete or whether it is steel no matter whether it is concrete or steel in this wsm method what we do we stress the material only up to this limit it's below this limit only we are using below word below the elastic limit we will stress it we will apply the loads but we will not allow to go beyond this limit okay and that's why this theory is known as elastic theory means we know that in this particular zone the stress is directly proportional to strength within the elastic limit that is hooks law na? so this limit is nothing but your elastic limit okay so it is proportioned or it is stressed up to this limit only this method it is also known as WSD, okay, working stress method of design. So, WSD or WSM is based on working loads and the criteria for the strength of structure is its capacity to sustain the loads and forces imposed on it. That is what I said. It is based on working loads. The working loads means what? Those loads which will be there applied over the structure at the time of its working. It's working life. For example, if you apply a load of 100 kilonewton, that is the maximum load which structure has to carry while in the working condition, that will be known as working load. So, it is based on working loads and criteria for the strength of the structure its capacity to sustain the loads and forces imposed on it. Now, what does that mean? For example, a particular structure, a particular member of the structure has. A strength of 50 newton per mm square this is just for example okay 50 newton per mm square so if it has a strength if i am saying that it has a strength of 50 newton per mm square what does that mean means its capacity to resist the stresses is only up to this limit 50 newton per mm square okay so that is what this sentence says the strength of structure is its capacity 15 newton per mm square is its strength but that is nothing but its capacity to sustain the loads or stresses whatever we impose on it so that is the slight introduction about the wsm we will again take it while taking the differentiation while i will taking i'll take a next next videos i'll take difference between the working stress method and limit state method so i will explain that method in more detail that video okay so let's see what are the advantages and what are the limitations okay so what are the advantages of working stress method it is a simple method first one is it is a simple method that's why you may have heard or you may have seen 
that even today a typical structure such as water tank then uh, dams these structures are still uh, designed by lsm they are designed by lsm remember this why because it is easy method simple method designed by sorry not lsm by ws okay so this method it is very simple method and the water tanks dams they are still designed by wsm why because it is easy and the engineers which we have very experienced engineers we use the word experience no? so the experienced engineers are if someone is having an experience of 30 years so if he or she is having the experience of 30 years obviously he or she may have studied this method not the lsm so that is what the reason is they still use this method because they have studied this method only this method is new to them that's why they use this method to design and it is not only old method but also simple method then this design the design which usually results in wait a minute i'll delete it huh. so the design which usually results in a relatively large section of the structural members if you design this a particular structure by using wsm it will give you large sections very large sections compared to the lsm okay so due to this the structures designed by working stress method will give better serviceability now this concept i will explain in limit state of method limit state method we have two types limit state of collapse or strength and limit state of serviceability okay this one so i'll explain that serviceability concept in that video uh, in limit state method of design video in next video i think okay so just remember because of the heavy uh, not heavy the large sections which we are going to use in wsm the serviceability performance will be very good in case of working loads in this uh, working stress method so these are the advantages it has then the third one is due to its simplicity it's still used for design of some complex structures such as overhead tank this concept i have told you the first point only that still many people use this method because it is simplicity it is because of its simplicity it is very simple so even the typical structures complex structures such as overhead water tanks domes then water tanks then we have dams so still these structures are designed by using wsm now let's see what are the limitations it has see this method deals with only the elastic behavior of the structure as i told you I have drawn that one graph and only within the elastic limit the material will be stretched only up to this limit so it does not show the real strength of or the true factor of safety against the failure now what does that mean if let us consider that a particular material any material if it has a capacity to go up to this point let us consider that it may go up to this point and at this point its strength will be 150 just pick a random number i'll not write unit to get you confused just remember this number so this 150 let us consider that up to this point up to this limit it can go but we are not allowing to go there we are only taking only restricting that material up to this point so you will never know how much real strength it may go up to this point this point or this point whatever the point is so you are allowing up to this point only so you will not know the real strength of this material that is first limitation then it will give larger design thus resulting in uneconomical sections this we have seen in advantages also that this section this method will give you the larger sections so even if it will be good in serviceability criteria it is not very good or uneconomical from economical point of view it is not very good it will give you large sections that means it is uneconomical so that is second disad limitation then it assumes that stress and strain relationship is constant for concrete which is not a true see as i told you you will stress the material up to this point only na? so it is in this limit only and up to this limit as i told you according to whose law stress is directly proportional to strength but it is not true so it considers it assumes that stress is directly proportional to strength 
it is constant but which is not true for the concrete okay then the working stress method fails to discriminate between different types of loads that act simultaneously but have different uncertainties now what does that mean see when you design a structure by lsm you will not only design it for shear force but also for the bending moment also for the axial forces also for the torsion and not only for this criteria but also for the vibrations for cracking and one more for deflection so all these criteria it should be safe in shear force it should be safe in bending moment it should be safe in axial force torsion vibration cracking and deflection if your particular structure or member is safe in all these criteria then and then only you will de design that section means you will adopt that particular section if it is safe in all these criteria so lsm will discriminate this means it will separately check this also it will separately check this also but not in case of working stress method it will not separately check whether it is safe in shear force bending moment vibration cracking deflection it will not separately check that so that is one disadvantage working stress method so in lsm we check it i'll explain this concept in uh, to you later so this these factors these criteria are known as limit state of strength and these criteria are known as limit state of serviceability but i will explain this in case uh, in that video uh, while we will see limit state method now the next the actual factor of safety is not known for this method as i told you you are allowing the material to stress up to certain limit what is the actual factor of safety you are taking that will not be known now what is factor of safety see its capacity is 150 as i told you and you are stressing it up to only 50 so if you know its capacity is 150 then and then only you will be able to calculate the value as 3 so this 3 value is known as factor of safety okay but if you don't know what is the actual capacity as i told you its real strength is not known this factor is x so how you will calculate some factor of safety so factor of safety is what its actual strength ultimate strength that is 150 uh, uh, just for example i am saying and divided by 50 you are allowing it to go up to 50 only but you don't know this value because you don't know what is the real strength of that so you will never know the factor of safety in case of working stress method then working stress method does not consider the mode of failure of the structure whether the structure is fail in ductile uh, means it will fail like this whether it is a ductile material whether it will directly crack and it will be a brittle material what type of failure it is whether it is a ductile or brittle failure that will not be considered in case of ws so this was the video on working stress methods advantages and limitations thank you